a mask is the first measure against the deadly coronavirus. But masks are in short supply around the world. And the good quality ones, like the N95 masks, have never been more popular and necessary. Now, we either need to find a way to disinfect these masks or reuse, uh, to reuse them or to produce them in the millions at short notice, which is difficult. So researchers are turning to the inventor of the N95 mask, Peter Tsai, for a solution. He is coming out of retirement to find a way to safely disinfect the N95 mask for reuse. Peter Tsai, who is a material scientist and engineer, invented the filtration fabric inside the mask nearly 30 years ago. He spent decades perfecting it before retiring from the University of Tennessee last year. Nobody can possibly know more about disinfecting the mask than the man behind the virus blocking technology. So in these unprecedented times, many turned to Peter Tsai for answers. His email inbox began to fill up with requests for help which made him abandon his retirement plans. I did not expect that this will happen, but uh, this happens. So uh, it comes all, all of a sudden. So, so I don't have time to fear something. I just feel obligated to help the industries and uh, to provide information to find a way to sterilize <laughs> the, uh, the mask. The supply of masks at hospitals is so low that medical personnel are using soap, water, alcohol or bleach to wash the masks. But these cleansing methods could damage the mask. Peter Tsai says that he is examining if exposing the mask to high temperatures could work. After the treatment of 70 degree for 24 hours, then uh, efficiency only reduced by 0.5%. So there are still 98.5% there. So if uh, heat treatment, you know, so you can uh, de activate the virus, then that, that can be a good way to uh, uh, reuse, you know, so, uh, the, the mask.